Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about what is fuzzy logic, which is a very interesting topic in artificial intelligence. So let's start with who was the father of fuzzy logic? Lotfi Zada was the father of fuzzy logic. The term fuzzy refers to things which are not clear. Fuzzy logic is a superset of Boolean logic. In Boolean logic, one represents complete true and zero represents complete false. So if we want to represent the continuous value, then Boolean logic will be the failure one. Hence, fuzzy logic is an advanced representation technique to represent uncertainty, to represent with degree and to represent the belongingness of a member of a crisp set to fuzzy set. So let's see one by one. What is to represent uncertainty means? As I told, in Boolean logic, one represents complete truth value and zero represents absolute false value. But in fuzzy logic, there is an intermediate value to present which is partially true and partially false. So let me take an example. If I ask, is it cold in Boolean logic, you have only two ways of representing the data. Either you have to tell yes or no. If you say yes, we are going to representing it with value 1. If you say no, we are going to representing it with value 0. But in fuzzy logic, if I ask, is it cold, you have different ways of representing the data. You can say very less, little or very much. So here we are representing the continuous values which ranges between zeros and ones. So this is called uncertainty. And the next one is represent with degree. For example, if I say I had five at least today. So here this 5 represents the degree or the quantity, the number which represents the degree of the value. So this is called representing with degree. And the next one is represent the belongingness of a member of a crisp set to fuzzy set. Here we are checking the belongingness of a member. So how to find the belongingness of a member here? Consider the universal set which contains the values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and the subset contains 3 and 4. So in this, if the value which contains contained in subset that is 3 and 4 which is also present in the universal set then we are going to representing it with value 1. If it is not present in the universal set, if it is not present in the universal set or the value which is present in universal set, that value if it is not present in the subset, then we are going to representing it with value 0. So let's see. So here, the value 1 which is present in universal set but it is not present in the subset. Hence we are representing it with value 0. Here 1 is the value of x and 0 is the value of membership function. Next 2. 2 is present in universal set but it is not present in the subset. Hence the value 0. 2 comma 0. Next 3. 3 is present in both universal set as well as subset, hence 3 comma 1. We are representing the membership value as 1. Next, 4. 4 is present in both universal set as subset, hence the membership function value is 1, that is 4 comma 1. Next, 5. 5 is present only in universal set but it is not present in the subset hence the value 0. So 5 comma 0. So this is how we are going to check the belongingness of a member of a crisp set to a 
fuzzy set. And the next very question is why fuzzy logic? See, if I consider an example, that is the speed of a bike and Boolean logic, I have only two ways of representing it. So I have to consider the speed of a bike, if it is between 0 to 40, I have to consider it as slow. If it is between 40 to 80, I have to consider it as fast. But in fuzzy logic, I cannot consider like that. Because if the speed of the bike is 42 or 50 or 39.99, I cannot consider it as completely slow or completely false. So in that case, we are using the concept called fuzzy logic to represent the data in an accurate manner. For this purpose, we need the concept called fuzzy logic. So now let's see how to check the speed of the bike. See, if the speed of the bike is less than or equal to 40, then we are going to representing it with value 0. If the speed of the bike is between 40 to 50, then we are going to representing it with value speed of x minus 40 divided by 10. So let me consider an example. If the speed of the bike is 45, the value of x is 45, then 45 minus 40 divided by 10, which is equal to 5 by 10. So what is the value? 0 0.5 is the value. Next, if the speed of the bike is greater than or equal to 50, then we are going to representing it with value 1. So this is about the basic concepts of fuzzy logic. In the next video, I am going to explain the operations in fuzzy logic. Thanks for watching.